What's going on, everybody? Hey, thank you, everybody. Was able to make the live stream last night. Myself and CVC for the auction slash fixed price uh, sale. Do appreciate everybody stopping in. I have everybody should have tracking uh, off of whatever if you ordered from me. If you haven't, check your spams or just send me an email and I'll get you that tracking out. Everything will go out tomorrow uh, once the post office comes here and picks up. All right, let's move into today's video. We're going to talk about the new inductees for the all-exclusive 10,000 PSA club. We got some new ones, and we got some people that are going to probably make it on here. I would guess if it's not at the end of this month, by mid-August for sure, depending on uh, how much more PSA is cranking out here. So let's get this pulled up here to show everybody. There you guys go. So like I said, this is something I've been working on for a while, and you know I try to get ideas. And if you guys have uh, ideas of other cards that possibly could be reaching the pop count of ten thousand, let me know in the comments, and I'll start looking up and trying to add it to it. So we already know Acuna tops updates by far, not by far. It's in the lead, not by much. So total pop count now for that's been eighteen thousand six hundred and five. It went up 165 since the last video, which I did around the first of the month. Um, Prison Zion's picking up, man. Picking up out there. PSA 10-wise, 18,536, up 610 in just like two weeks. I think the Zion Prism 10 is going to overtake Akuna. I really, really do. Um, Soto, tops update, 17,802, up 275. Luca, 17434. That's the Prism rookie, up 159. John Morant, almost at 17,000. Probably might be today, up 349. Tatis, uh, tops rookie, 1433 or 355, up 335. PD's tops rookie, 13413, up 136. Griffey tops traded. We got more of them cranking. Another 134 puts it over 12.5 now. Gavin Lux tops rookie up 170. Um, oh, I need to move up Tiger Woods because he's up higher. I'll do that in the next one. Tiger Woods upper deck rookie up 136 now over 13.3. The two newest members just got it. They just got into the club. 2019 Prism LeBrons. Almost 10,200 PSA 10s, up 272 since the last time I looked at it and had it recorded. Also, new inductee, 2018 Topps Chrome, Soto. And just so, I think there was two different ones put in that set, the HMT 55. Just went over 10,000. Just went over it. We got some eyes on some contenders that will possibly make it very soon here. The 2018 Prism Trey Young rookie card. This is really shocking. 2019 Bowman uh, Wander Franco, the Chrome version, not the paper, the Chrome. 9,426. I think Wander's going to hit it here shortly. I really do. Finally, 2019 Tops uh, Chrome Tatis. It's sitting at 8363. We're keeping our eye on it because I'm sure there's a ton sitting at grading right now. And I'm sure it's going to be, you know, up there in numbers as we keep growing. Keep growing. Now, with this being said, I'm not telling everybody to go out and sell or go buy anything out there. This just gives you perspective on how much that these cards were produced um, overall. And how many of them are pop 10. Or, I'm sorry, yeah. How many PSA 10s are in the population right now? Huge amounts. And what do you think about it? I mean, you can look at some of the bigger uh, YouTube channels. and that, There's a couple dudes over 100,000. So, I mean, if you just take that as being, you know, probably about 60, 70, 80 percent of the population, I don't know. You know, if somebody's 100,000 subscribers, you're saying one-fifth of their subscribers possibly could own a Kuna update. It's really some big numbers, really some big numbers out there. I could see Herbert Select and Herbert Prisms along with um, Burrow being up there once uh, PSA gets back on track. Those two will probably be very, very high pop counts as well. Um, 
depending on how many people didn't send them into STC, just for the quick flip because they know it's overproduced card as well too. Not too sure, not too sure on to it all. But real quick video today, everybody. I wanted to just put this out because we had two new inductees. Congrats to 2019 Prism LeBron and 2018 Topps Chrome Juan Soto. You you hit the 10,000 PSA 10 pop count. Um, it's just amazing when you start thinking about PSA pop 10s. I mean, you can go in there and look. Some of these are like, you know, a little over 50% ratio grade in 10s. Some might be in the 40s. You know, you, you have a better chance of PSA 10. All you got to do is wipe your card down pretty much and, you know, you're, you're batting one for every two is going to 10. And you start looking at a lot of these prices, you'll notice some of them have dipped in price big time. I mean, Griffey tops traded. I, I got rid of mine when they were, I want to say they were like 260 a card, 250, and now they're like 100, 120 for PSA 10. Look at Tatis as his stuff was over 300. I think it's probably, I know when I sold the last ones I had were 179 on my slabs. Don't know if they're lower or not now. Zions were sitting close to oh gosh, I want to say they were around a thousand bucks and now they're at lay, laying out about three sixty a pop. I, I don't even know where Kuna is. I think his around one twenty for the tops update might be lower, maybe a hundred now. And those things at one time frame were creeping at three hundred, I recall. So it just gives you an idea what's out there. You know, as these pop counts get higher, if you collect these guys, you'll probably be able to get a little bit cheaper out there. It's just, wow, enormous out there. Enormous amounts of stuff out there. But hopefully you all enjoy this. Um, this is just something I think I'm going to do once or twice a month and update this list. Like I said, if you guys could think of other cards you think are going to be high pop counts, especially PSA 10s, or is your grading getting stuff in, hit me in the comments, send me an email, whatever it may be. Hey, check these out. They might be hitting there too. Because I'm pretty much at a point to where I... Just trying to guess now because PSA really, what are we looking at? Five months been shut down roughly almost. Four months, yeah, four months now. So a lot of product that came out during that time frame where people have been holding, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of UFC, F1, stuff like that on there eventually as well too. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good week. Um, no overtime this week either. I got that show on Saturday. I'll try to get some good video footage while I'm there because I'm going to be showing up as they're opening the doors to the customers for that. So I'll try to get some good video footage. Hopefully it's better than the last show in Lexington where 50% of the tables <laughs> weren't even filled. We'll see what happens. So we're, we're being real close to the national. I'm being very skeptical. People are going to want to buy, and if they are, they're going to think, that they're the dealer sitting behind a table and offer you 60-70% on a card. And I think the other thing might be a lot of people are going to come to sell because they need that money to go to the national. Just, just my thoughts on to that. All right, I'll catch you all next video. Have a good week.